prophetess Priscilla, my adjutant Sister Marcy, my cousin Minister Andres and her husband, and my coworker Lori and Elder Emma, and my sister-in-law Debbie, and my sister Joyce, and my children. Please stand. I, I love the fact that my children support me no matter where I go. For Bishop Beal and his beautiful wife, the wife. Amen. 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 For, for, for Amen. speaking to Bishop Elect on, on our behalf so we can be here tonight yes. to hear Amen. what thus saith the Lord. Um, I'm going to be coming from Matthew, the 23rd chapter. For those of you who would like to follow oh, along, um, you can grab your smart devices or you can grab your physical Bibles. Again, that's Matthew, the 23rd chapters, verses 1 through 7. It is the first book of the New Testament. If you need time to find it, say, Preacher, I need a minute. Matthew, the 23rd chapter, verses 1 through 7. I will be reading from the Message Bible, so it may read just a little different from yours. Everybody got to say amen. 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 If you need a minute, say, I need a minute. Take, All right. Take your time. Now, Jesus turned to address his disciples, along with the crowd that had gathered with them. The religious scholars and Pharisees are competent teachers in God's law. You won't go wrong in following their teachings on Moses. But be careful about following them. They talk a good line, but they don't live it. Come on, they now. don't take it into their hearts and live it out in their behavior. Come on. It's all mm. spit and polished veneer. Wow. Instead of giving you God's law as food and drink by which you can banquet on God, they package it in bundles of rules, loading you down like pack animals. They seem to take pleasure in watching you stagger under these loads and wouldn't think of lifting a finger to help. Jesus. Their, li uh, their lives are perpetual. Excuse me, it skipped up a little bit. Um, I'm not used to these smart devices and I don't have a message Bible, so. Um, Go ahead, take your time. Their lives are perpetual fashion shows, embroidered prayer shawls one day and flowery prayers the next. They love to sit at the head table at the church dinners, basking in the most prominent positions, preening in the radiance of public flattery, receiving honorary degrees, and getting called doctor and reverend. Let us pray. Yes. God, you are from everlasting to everlasting. Yes. Besides you, there is none other. And God, we gather into this place just to yes, say thank you. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you how you woke us on this morning with new mercies, God. We thank you that we didn't have to look to yesterday's mercies, God. But God, you gave them fresh this morning. And God, as we prepare to go in your word, I pray now that you would hide me behind Calvary's cross. God, it's not about me, but it's all about you. Jesus. They don't even have to remember my name, but God let them hear what thus says the Lord. Yes. For all that I have, everything that I am, any wisdom that I speak comes from you. Yes, Lord. Yes. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. 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 With the upcoming holidays, um, many people are prepared to follow their traditions. Many people have, for Thanksgiving traditions, many people have pie recipes that they follow that their grandmothers used to prepare. Or many people have um, family members, certain family members that gather at that time of year every Thanksgiving. It's the same family members that come over every yeah. Thanksgiving. They look forward to being with those family members on that particular day. Many people, for for many different uh, holidays prepare traditions at Christmas time we some of us go out and we it's a tradition to get a live tree and some of us may you know for my family tradition was always getting a white tree I loved a white tree so that was tradition every year my kids knew I would be getting a white tree uh, some Jesus. of us 
just leave cookies out for the supposedly Santa Claus that they have coming around. And, and, and some of us, you know, we do various things for tra for traditions. And, That's and, and right. so in, 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 in this pastoral scripture, Jesus is telling us about these Pharisees and these scribes who are very traditional people. Mm -hmm. they, they do things by tradition and then and they, they, they put all these laws on people. They, 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 were, they were avid studiers of the word of God. They, they knew what they were talking about. Uh -huh. He said, follow what they say, but don't follow what they do because they don't do what they teach. So in other words, they were doing things out of tradition. They were what you call the religious leaders of that day. And so the, the, the thing about religion is you can believe that there's a God, but then the enemy believes that there's a God, right? You can believe that there's a God, but not follow like God and not follow his ways and not follow anything that he says. But these religious leaders, they believe that there was a God. They believe that there was a law, but there was nothing that they, they wanted to partake in of the law, except the fact that they wanted to be seen. Right. The Bible says that men yes. had flesh which was the law of prayer that they would hang on their outer coats. They walked around in robes that looked wonderful and looked good and made them look prominent in society. Why? Because they need, they wanted to be noticed. They wanted to be known for who they were, but they had no intentions on serving the God that they say they serve. Come on now. Come on now. You better say so. And when I Ask God, what would you have me to say to your people tonight? He said, I want you to talk about tradition, religion, and relationship. Right. Whoa. Jesus. You better watch yourself. Tradition, uh -huh. religion, and relationship. Yes. A lot down. of us come to church because it's tradition in our family. Right. Yes. A lot of us come to the, the house of God. Because it's tradition. Great grandmama did it. Grandmama did it. Mama did it. So I'm going to do it. But as the week goes on and as they, they come and take their places in these seats on Sunday morning, that as Monday comes around, they go back to living hellish lives. They go to coming to church out of tradition. God said, I'm tired of tradition. I'm tired of religion. Jesus. You say you believe in me, but yet you don't even live any type of way that represents Come me. Because when Monday morning rolls around and you gotta go to your job, and the first person that makes you mad, you're cussing them out like you don't even know who Jesus is. My God. Amen and out. Tradition, religion, and relationship. My God, my God. The enemy believes in God. The enemy's right. got religion. Jesus. Preach. Saints of God. My God, my God. <laughs> Preach. I don't know who this message is for tonight. My God. God said, I desire to have relationship. Yes. Say so. Preach. Tradition will not get you into heaven. All right. All right. Religion is not going to get you into heaven. It's the relationship that makes the difference. Yes. It's the relationship that will make you love when you don't want to love. Yes. It's the relationship that will make you forgive when you don't want to forgive. Come on, it's the relationship that will make you make you reach out to that person in the street who's struggling without casting judgment. It's the relationship with God that will make you look at your sister when you walk into the church house and you see that she's down on her luck. It's the relationship that's going to keep you from gossiping about her. But the relationship is going to make you go to her and say, Sis, you seem to be having a hard time. Is there something I can do for you? Is there a way that I can pray for you? Is there any way I can help you? Just let me know because it's the relationship yes. that makes the difference. Yes. You, can, you can have tradition. Yes. A lot of people have tradition. As we know, we got traditions when we have graduation. At the end of graduation, graduates throw up their cap and they watch the cap yes. come down. There. We have traditions for everything. But it's the relationship that yes. makes the difference. Yes. It's the relationship that makes the change. Yes. It's the relationship that says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Yes. Old things are passed away. Those old things will not pass away unless you have a relationship. Come on here. Yes. Make it plain. You will continue Make to stay plain. in the old man. Yes. You, will, you may say, Lord, come into my life. I know plenty of people that say, Lord, come into my life. And they never change nothing about them. Right. Jesus. Say so. They never changed a thing. They still drinking. They still fornicating. They still cussing and fussing. 
shucking and jiving, peeping and hiding, hiding. They ain't changed nothing. The only thing what they said was, Lord, come into my life. But Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, pick up your cross and deny yourself. Jesus. And follow me. Yes. Denying yourself means you don't give in to the lust of your flesh. Yes. Denying yourself means you're working on your own soul salvation with Jesus. fear and trembling. There's instructions with that. Yes. You ain't yes. just working it out, but you doing it with fear and trembling. Yes. yes. God is holy, and he desires that we be holy. Yes. Come on now. He said our righteousness. Yes, yes. Our righteousness is that filthy rags. Yes, yes, yes. God is the only one that can give us Come right on standing. here. Come on here. Yes. But if I don't have the relationship here. with God, and I'm only in it for tradition and religion, I'm just stagnant and stuck and in a place where I ain't going nowhere. I can't help nobody. I am of no good to the kingdom. It's almost like putting my hand to the plow and pulling it back. Yes. Say so. Say and so. God said, when you put your hand to the plow and take it back, you are not worthy of the kingdom of God. Jesus. God said, judgment is coming upon the house of the Lord first. First. Saints of God, we got to get it right. Come on, we got to do this thing right. We got to be that light that's always shining. When that person on the street come and ask you for a dollar, instead of turning your nose down, looking at thinking, oh, he's able-bodied to work, that's not always the case. I work with the homeless. I'm out there every day in the street, in the trenches. Some of them have mental illnesses. Some of them suffer from schizophrenia. Uh-huh. Some of them suffer from, from anxiety. Yeah. They're too nervous to work. They don't know what to do. Some of them have been drinking so long that they got the shakes and they couldn't they couldn't function on a 24 hour, a, a, a nine to five job if they wanted to. Say so. Say so. But relationship yeah. with your Savior Jesus. will have you have compassion, Debbie, yeah. on that person that's on the street. Yeah. Relationship Sister Mercy, well, have you have compassion on that sister who walks into the church? And, and, and she may be walking into the church for the first time, and, and she's got on a miniskirt because all she's known is the club. She ain't never been to the church. Her mama didn't go to church. Her grandmama didn't go to church. Her great-grandmama didn't go to church. So all she knows is I want to change because there's something that's just not working in my life. And, and so I, I'm looking for a change, and I heard that the church is a place where you can go, where you can find love, where you can find joy, where you can find peace. So I'm, I'm making my way into to the, to the church house, huh? and then the minute she walk in the door with the mini skirt, guess Come what? Here. Come on here. Come on. Those that are in there for for, for, for tradition Ooh, and religion. Come on here. Come on now. Break it down. Come on, Come on now. Come on here. Come on. Girl, did you see what she had on? Come on. Girl. Come on. It's tight, but it's right. She Come on. The pastor might be looking at her, and she had the nerve to sit in the front row. She don't know nothing about church. Come on here. All she knows, she tired of living in the world. All she knows is she needs change. She needs something different. Just like Mary. When Mary began to, to wash Jesus' feet with her tears and dry him with her hair, all she knew that she was in the Savior's presence. And she knew that she needed to change because she knew she was sick with the disease of addiction. Come on here. And God said, that's the same way. Some people are going to come into the church house. Come on here. But I need you to be the church. I need you to have relationship with me. Because when you have relationship with me, there's just some things that you understand. Jesus. But when you're operating out of tradition, and when you're operating out of religion, you might as well be out there in the world. All right. Because you act just like them. Jesus. You on you on the telephone yeah. with brother so-and-so talking about sister so-and-so. Every time something go wrong. My God, my God. You know what's another thing Amen that enough. God said bothers him? You got all these religious leaders come on. in ministry. Yes. Come on, come head on. Head of the church. Come on here. The head. And they'll tell you when, when Minister Andresa go to praising God, girl, it don't take all that. <laughs> God said you don't know what it takes. All right. Come on now. All right. You ain't in Andresa's life. Right. You ain't in her heart. Come on, here. You don't know what she's going through. Jesus. You don't know what she's dealing with. It may take her all that to get to me. Yeah. While it may take for you to be quiet. But I require her to open up her mouth and yeah. praise me on this day. Yeah. Stop yeah. telling folks it don't take all yeah. 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 My God. 
Say relationship. Jesus. Relationship so. will make you look at things different, Tracy. Yes. Re -re relationship will make you look at people different. Re relationship will make you love more. Yes. Relationship will make you have compassion more. Yes. 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 Tradition. Tradition will have you stuck yes. and stagnant, yes. pompous, yes. and pious. Yes. Like the religious leaders of that day, yes. they walked around with their phylacteries and their tassels yes. and their gowns yes. and they yes. walked yes. around and they, they were so important and they, they yes. sat in the prominent seats at the dinners and, and they wanted to be called teacher. They wanted to be recognized. All right, all right. It don't matter if you remember my name. My gosh. I don't care if you remember my face. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm here so God can get the glory. All right. All right. I'm here working on his behalf. All right. He says the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Yes. That's and if the word. you don't have relationship, you will not qualify for the job. All right. Relationships, relationship with Christ allows you to know that Prophetess Priscilla has a gift. Yes, come on. Sister Mercy has a gift. Elder Emma has a gift. Pastor Robin has a gift. And when I put them in the house together, those gifts are designed to work together. All right, all right. I don't have to be jealous because I'm not a prophet. Come on here. I don't have to be jealous because I can't sing the solo in the choir. Jesus. I don't have to be jealous because I don't preach like Bishop Bill. My There's God. not a reason for us to go into the house of God being jealous of one another, having cliques, hating on one another. Jesus. And relationship with God mm. will teach you those things. Yes. Because when you have relationship with God, there's just some things that you'll understand that you won't understand if you don't have that relationship with God. Jesus. It begins in you first. I try to tell my congregation all the time, in my opinion, 99.9% .9 of it is relationship with my Savior. Yes. The other 0.1% is when we come together to sharpen each other, yes. to edify the body of Christ. And when the body of Christ is edified, God is glorified. Yes. Relationship. God says, I desire relationship with each and every one of you. Stop talking about your brother and sister. All right. God hates gossip. Jesus. Come on, yet we do it from the pulpit to the door. Jesus. And if we don't open our mouths to join in with the gossip, we certainly open our ears to listen to it. Right. God said, I'm tired. I'm tired. My I'm God. tired, Priscilla. People ain't coming into the church house because they don't see no difference between the church and the world. I'm tired. Jesus, my my wrath is upon the earth because you ain't acting no different than how the world is acting. Jesus. What good does it do if Sister Lori walks into the church house for the first time? She sits behind me and Minister Andres and we just steady talking about First Lady. And she gets the whiff of it. Jesus. You know what she's saying to herself? What am I doing here? Jesus. Ain't doing the same thing where I came from. Yes. I might as well go back out there where it's familiar with what I know. Jesus. This is supposed to be different. All right. Because you ever notice the first thing somebody says to you when you offend them or you do something wrong is, I thought you were a Christian. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's oh, yeah. the first Come thing on. they call you up on. Oh, yeah. I thought you were a Christian. Come on. Oh, yeah. The Bible says we ought to walk circumspectly in the world. Yes. That means very carefully. You don't know who's watching you. I was telling my daughter today. I said, sometimes, see, I, I just don't think about myself going to heaven. I, I just don't think that I'm in this for myself. You know why? I got a relationship with Jesus. I realize that it's everybody I'm connected to. From the stranger to my best friend, to my child, to my husband. I know that it's everybody I'm connected to. I told my daughter today, sometimes a stranger will watch you. And they know that you belong to God. They may never say a word to you, Priscilla, but they'll watch you. And they'll watch the way you act. And they'll watch how you talk to people. They even watch your facial, your mannerisms, your facial expressions. They watch how you interact. I tell you, I work with the homeless. I work with those who are addicted to opioids and substances and alcohol. And the first thing they say to me that when they got to know me, because they watched me for a while when I started going out in the streets. And the first thing they said to me is, you the real deal. Come on. Why? Because they watch you. They know. They see where you're coming from in here. 
And trust me, a lot of them know the word better than some Christians. Come on here. Trust Come on me. now. You can't pull no wool over there. Come on here. Jesus. But you got to always work so walk, walk circumspectly. You go into the grocery store. This, this is this is this is this is our 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 watered down Christianity today. You know, we 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 take we take scripture and we make it fit our sin. You All know, right. we we ain't trying to be holy. We we ain't trying to do it, God's way. God obviously was confused when he when he had the, the word of God put together. He obviously didn't know what he's talking about. No, no, no. God didn't mean that, but he meant this. The devil is a liar. Amen. We take and we leave church. Say so. We in the, we in the congregation, hooping and hollering, hallelujah, talking in tongues. Go to the grocery store. Cashier done rang up something wrong. She didn't know it was on sale. You know how we done catch those surprise sales. And uh -huh. You see it on the sign. It says 99 cent. And you get up there and ring up for 5 .99. First thing you do is cussing and fussing. Come on, oh, that ain't no 99 cent. That's fat. You, you done caught a hope. You just left the house of God. All right. All right. Relationship will sustain you at all times. No matter where you at, no matter who you're dealing with. Jesus. Jesus said, if they slap you on the one cheek, give them the other. Uh, Relationship will allow you to do that. Yeah. I, I had some people say to me a few years back, you know, I don't understand. People talk about you. People take advantage of you. People lie on you. And I still see you smile. I still see you dealing with them. I still see you being their friend. I said, because you know why? I understand that the battle's not mine. All right. All right. When, I, when you have a relationship with God, you realize on, you ain't got to pay brother so-and-so back for what he did. You ain't got to get even with sister so-and-so. But it would behoove me if I didn't love sister so-and-so. So, because you know what? It's much more important for you to see that Christ in me is real than it is for me to get revenge with you. Come on, man. Relationship will make you act like that. Tradition will have you acting like the world. An eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth. You did this to me, so I'm going to get back at you. But relationship will have you thinking in a whole nother direction. Jesus. And, I, and I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna act like I'm some super saint and I got it all right. Because sometimes my mind can go there. But then I remember who I belong to. All right. All right. And I remember what he did for me. All right. yeah. And I remember all the times I offended him. Jesus. And I remember yes. all the times I didn't on, get it right. Yes. And I remember all the times I messed up. Yes. Even after I got saved. Come on, and yet he was there. Because he was in relationship with me too. He was there with his arms wide open. He was there saying, my daughter, I'm right here. I haven't moved to the left nor the right. But I'm standing right in front of you. Anytime you want to come back, I'm right here. Anytime you reach out to me, I'm right here. Anytime you want to repent, I'm right here. Why? Because relationship does that. Come on now. Relationship always loves. Come on now. Relationship always seeks to do what's good. Jesus. Relationship. Jesus. Think on those things whatsoever lovely. Yeah. Whatsoever pure. Whatsoever is of a good report. Jesus. You better yes, we act like oftentimes that we're operating on the tradition. Because the minute sister so and so make us mad. We talking. We done got in our feelings. Come on here. Mistake number one. If Jesus had gotten his feelings, mm. none of us would be here. All today. right. Yeah. All right. Say and it. if we were, we would all be yeah. on our way to hell yeah. in a handbasket. Yeah. But Jesus didn't get in his feelings. Mm. The one thing I love about Jesus Christ is everything they did to him. And mind you, yes, he was fully God. But when he went through all this, he was fully man. Right. He was just like you and I, flesh. Yes. He, he went in the garden. He said he knew how heavy and low he said, God, Father, take this from me if it be your will. But nevertheless, let my will be. Let thy will be done. You know why? Because of the relationship yeah. he had with his father and my the relationship yeah. his father was trying to establish with us. Yeah. So he, he, he took that journey. They marched him from courtroom to courtroom. They stuck a crown of thorns in his head, Lori. They, they put nails in his hand, and, and he, he kept on going. He didn't stop. He, he didn't stop when they, when they was mocking him. He didn't stop when they was beating him. He didn't stop when they was spitting on him. He kept on going because he desired for us to have a relationship with him and the Father and the Holy Spirit. He kept right on going. And when he got up that hill, killed Gilgatha, and he was on that cross, he didn't hum mumble or uh, hum. All he said was, Father, 
Forgive them. For they know not what they do. Relationship will make you take on that attitude. Mind you, the religious leaders of that day, the scribes and the Pharisees, were always looking for an excuse to catch Jesus in a lie. To catch Jesus in a sin. An excuse for him to be crucified. An excuse to wipe him out. Yeah. But he hung on that cross. Yes, he did. And he God. said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. That's Who so are you and I to hold back grace? Who are you and I to hold back mercy? Come on here. If I say I'm one of Christ, and he says I'm his ambassador, then I should be mocking his behavior. Jesus. It don't matter who hurt my feelings. Come on here. It don't matter who dumped on me. Jesus. It don't matter who did what to me. I said I'm one of his. I look at him and I say, Danny, what would you do? I would forgive that person the same way I've forgiven you a thousand times over. All right. Yeah. And it makes my decision that much easier. Yes. yes. Because yes. that's what relationship does. Yes. You think about relationship with each other. Now, my sister and I have known each other since she was a little girl. Our families are intertwined. So we're like family. If she says something to offend me, and I get all of my feelings, because I have a relationship with her and I know her, I know that I ain't got to stay stuck in my feelings. But I can go to her and say, sis, you know, you said something the other day that really bothered me. And I don't understand it now. I don't know how you meant it, but but I, I know you and I know we love each other. So can you explain what, what was going on? See, a relationship yeah, will make yeah. you do that. Oh, uh, uh, some of us women know we, we have men that, that can do some crazy things in relationship. Oh, they can act some crazy ways in relationship. Oh, yeah. But yet, no matter what, because of the love that we have in our heart for that man and because of the relationship that we have acquired with that man, when they do these things, we have a tendency of forgiving them. Yes, yes, yes. Same way with the brothers. Sometimes it ain't always the women. Sometimes it's, I mean, the men, sometimes it's the women. Yeah. Sometimes right. a brother can hook up with a woman that put them literally through H E double F. Yes, you're talking right. But because of the way he loves her. And because of the relationship he has with his Savior, he can forgive her. Because relationship will make you do that. All right, all right. Tradition will have you acting like the world. All right. It's all about me. What have you done for me lately? It's me, myself, and I. What am I going to benefit from this? But relationship Jesus. takes the focus off of you. Yeah. Come on, yeah. And it puts the focus on those in need. Yes. There are so many people out there every single day dying all around us yeah. in their sin. Jesus. It in ain't doing sin. us no good. Staying in the church house with each other. Say it again. Worried yes, about sir. each other. Come on, here. My God, speak, Lord. The harvest, I said it earlier, is plenteous. Yes. Yes. There's so many people out there in need of a savior. Yes. Enough for all of us to go yes. around. Yes. I ain't got to, 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 to go with Elder Emma. We going to hit the streets. And then at the end of the night, we tallied up numbers to see who reached the most people. Ah. Come on here. Come on here. That Jesus. don't make no sense. All right. Right at all. Jesus. Relationship will let you know if you touch one person, yeah. you did all right. You know what's funny is the Pharisees understood that. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, you cross land and sea yes. to make one convert. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, most world-renowned leaders today mm -hmm. will not come across land and sea mm -hmm. just for one person. Right. Sure Majority of the time, if they come in, there's a price tag attached. All right. uh -huh. And then sometimes there's a price tag and a care package attached. Oh, yeah. See, because now you got to pick the hotel room, the meals, right, and all that other right, stuff. I need all, all right. that covered before I'm going to move. All right. Jesus. But the Pharisees would go across land and sea, Jesus said, for one convert. So they got that concept. They understood that. But yet they, they would put burdens and loads on them. Yeah. They would put demands on them that they couldn't live up to themselves and that they wouldn't live up to themselves. Jesus. They were also tithers. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, they were scrupulous tithers. It was serious business for them to give their 10% to the house of God. So not only were they evangelists going across land and sea, but they were tithers. They understood the
precepts of the law. But yet, they didn't live up to the standards that was required yes. of each and every one of us yes. to be more like Christ. Yes. They were traditional. Say so. And they were religious. But they didn't have no relationship. God said, I don't want you to be like the scribes and the Pharisees. There's a lot of people in the church today and I'm just going to say what the Holy Ghost has given me. All right. Come on, say it. God said, you've been in here so long. You sit in your prominent seats. You wear your prominent hats. Come on, Suits now. and dresses. Say so. And the minute that sinner man walk in the church, you're turning your nose down on him. You ain't got nothing nice to say. In fact, you wondering in your mind. Y'all remember when, 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 when Mary was washing Jesus' feet yes. with, with, with her hair and, 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 and drying with her with her tears and drying with her hair. You remember when the, the Pharisee mumbled in himself and said, if he was the son of God, he would know what mm -hmm. type of woman this was who was touching him. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And God said, a lot of times in the church yes. today, Folks can be the same way. Amen. A sinner man walks in the church. A sinner woman walks in the church. She don't look like you. She ain't dressed like you. She ain't had a shower in months. She been in the streets living up under a bridge. She all tattered and bruised, stinking. And the first thing you whispered in your mind is, what are they doing in here? Come on. Who let them up in here? But relationship will have you know that in the last days and times, some folks are going to come running to the church house. Yes. As the world goes wickeder and darker, they're going to come running. Yes. But God says, you as my children, you as my eyes, you as my ears, you as my hands, I expect you to be different. And the only way you're going to be different if you, is if you pursue a relationship yes. with me. Come on, come on. Jesus. I don't want you in this thing to be religious. I don't want you in this thing to be traditional. I want you in this thing to have a relationship with me. The same way you will pursue a relationship with your boo. You spend time with your boo. You can't wait to see your boo. You can't wait to get out of work and spend time with your boo. Everything is about your boo, your boo, your boo, your boo, your boo. God said, I desire the same thing from you. Spend time with me. Think of me as your boo. Because if it wasn't for me, you All couldn't right. be with your boo. All right. Truth be told, All right. it's the relationship yes. that yes. makes the difference. Yes. God desires relationship. Yes. And everybody in here that's up under the sound of my voice is now being held accountable yes. for how you interact and deal with people. Yes. Especially yes. sinners. Jesus said, I didn't come to save those who are well and don't need a physician. Yes. I came to save those who are lost, those who are sick. Those who are dying. Those who have the disease of sin. And we can't come into this thing out of tradition. Mama did it. Daddy did it. Grandmama did it. Out of religion. Oh, I know there's a God somewhere. But yet, you know, I'm going here on Sunday morning. I'm going to sing the hymns. I'm going to pray the prayer. I'm going to pay my tithes. I'm going to, you know, you know after that Monday come, I'm going back to my own self. Sunday night. Sunday night. You know what behooves me? Folk worry about what the preacher see. All right. Come on, Come say, on it. say it. That's the truth. They got their favorite pack store they go to, but they know Pastor So and So live two streets <laughs> over. <laughs> say so. Come on now. And so they they creep it. They 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 creep. They look anyway. See if Pastor So and So see. God's eyes are always on. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Worry about what Pastor So and So see. All right. Worry about what God sees. All right. Everything we do, we ought to check ourselves. All right. The Bible says, why do you wipe the speck out of your brother's eye? You got a whole beam in yours. Yes. Jesus. When you think about that, why am I trying to get you right, Debbie? And I'm all messed up. Say so. Because we want to be so important.
important. All right, uh -huh. come on. Uh huh. We we want to walk around in our robes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. We we, we want to walk around with our phylacteries and our tassels attached to our robes, so people know that we are prominent and I'm better than you, Lori. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you ain't you ain't got the gift that I got, Lori. Yeah. I, I'm a preacher, Lori, and you're just a lay person. So you know I gotta walk around dressed up in my robe. Jesus. Yes. 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 Mm. Yes. 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 Use the Lord. Yes. Mm. Tradition. Mm. Religion. Religion. Jesus. Mm. Your heart is filthy. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing in your heart pleases God. Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said, Many shall come to me and say, Lord, Lord. And That's he will right. say, Depart right. from me. I never you knew worker you. of iniquity. Yes, I never knew you. Mm -hmm. He's talking to some saved folk. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Because then they say, Lord, come on here. Did we not prophesy in your name? Jesus, Jesus. Did we not cast out demons in your name? He said, I don't know you. Tradition, religion, relationship. God desires to have a relationship with each and every one of us. God desires to mold us, to make us, to shape us. He said, I have created you in my image and in my likeness. We have to do better. As a people representing the most high God. Yes. And the next time you see that person that's sick in sin, yes. look at them just like they're sick with stage four cancer. Mm -hmm. Reach out to them. Ask them. You may not be able to do nothing for them, but pray. Yes. Can, can I pray with you, Bishop Elect? Yes. Is there anything that I can do for you? Yes. I don't have much money. And, and I may not have a whole lot of food, but can I at least offer you prayer? Jesus. Relationship Jesus. will make you be empathetic to yes. those around you. Yes. Oh, God. That's right. I can't go on my job and stuff don't begin to change Amen. while I'm at my job. Why? Because I am in relationship with Jesus Christ, which means I have a light that's shining on me that some people on my job don't have because they don't have that relationship. And when light shows up, darkness has to flee. Oh so when I show up on my job, Jesus. situations have to change. Come on here. Yes. Come on here. Oh, yes. Jesus. You better preach. Yes. yes. You better preach. My relationship. God. My God. Mm. My God. God's not required. Each and every one of you yes. to have relationship with me. Yes. Let us pray. Yes. God, we thank you for the word that has come forth on this evening. Yes. God, we pray that you will receive all the glory, yes. all the honor yes. that is due to you. Yes. God, we pray that we will be better stewards, oh God, of your word, oh God. God, we pray that we would spend more time with you, that we would seek, oh God, to, to be in your word more, God, that we would seek, oh God, to, to talk to you more, oh God, but more important, that we would seek, oh God, to hear what you have to say back, God. God, we thank you for each and every individual that is under the sound of my voice. We thank you, oh God, that we shall go forward, oh God, and we shall pursue that relationship with you, oh God. That would allow us to be different from the world. Yes. That will allow us to walk circumspectly yes. in the world. Yes. That will allow us to walk amongst men. Yes. And somebody will point and say there's something that is different about him. I don't know what it is. But I need to get up under him. I need to get to know him. Because there's something that stands out about him. And God we thank you. We don't have to go around and be like the. Pharisees and the religious leaders of that day. We don't have to put on fancy robes and we don't have to wear prayer boxes on the on our outside of our garment, God, and we don't have to wear tassels and God. We don't have to walk around with prominent hats and sit in prominent seats, God. But God, we know when we're in relationship with you, all we have to do is walk. 
So God, I thank you. I thank you for your word. I thank you for everything that was said and done in this place. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.